Nvidia's RTX cards are giving us more realistic games than ever, and pairing that with laptops that are slim, light, and powerful, these are definitely going to be the future of gaming. So you may have seen or had experience with Nvidia's GTX cards, but now we also have the RTX, with this R referring to ray tracing. What ray tracing means is that it's the process that simulates the real-time behaviours of light, giving you an extra layer of realism to a whole host of games. Aside from the ray tracing, performance is a key aspect that sets the RTX cards above the rest. They're powered by Turing GPU architecture, which is shown to give a four times better performance than some of the older GTX models, meaning you won't have to sacrifice your settings to keep up your frame rate. Now, something you might have heard of is DLSS, and what this is is a new feature in RTX cards designed to eliminate any hidden performance from any GPU tasking processes. It stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, and what it does is predict any adjustments to frames, overall keeping up your frame rate, so it's worth checking if you have any games that support this feature. So where does the Triton 500 come into all this? Well, it's powered by an 8th gen Core i7 processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 card. Alongside that powerhouse of hardware, it weighs in only 2 kilograms and is 18 millimeters thick. So this laptop only has one place, and that's by my side always. This is a model I've chose for myself, mainly because of the RTX 2080. That was definitely one of the persuading factors. More and more games are becoming compatible with ray tracing, from games like Minecraft to the new Modern Warfare and the upcoming and long-awaited Cyberpunk. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have an RTX card? Would you want one? And what games would you like to see compatible with ray tracing? That's all from me. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.